Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog post on your WordPress website. So the first thing you need to do is log into your website. And for the purpose of this video I'm using a development domain with a fresh installation of WordPress using Beans WordPress framework. So I'm just going to log into the website quickly. If you need a bit of help logging into your website, if you're not sure how to do that, do make sure you check out my previous video on how to log into your WordPress website. So I'm just going to continue logging into my website. And we're now in the back end of the website running WordPress version 4.94. So step one in creating a post, we need to come over here to the WordPress menu and click on posts. As you can see there's already a default dummy post set up there that came with the fresh installation of WordPress. I'm going to create a new post just to walk you through the process step by step and the first thing to do is click add new. So this brings us to the editor. This is what's referred to as the WordPress post editor and it functions fairly similarly to a text editor, something like Microsoft Word, but obviously it's a bit more complicated and there's a greater degree of flexibility in the things you can do with it. So, let's start with the title. So to title your blog post, insert your title up here in the title box. So, let's do that now. This is the title or our blog post for this video tutorial. Actually, let's just call it something a bit snappier. Creating a blog post. Okay, so there's the title. This box here is where you'll be inputting the content that you want to display on your blog post. I'll just walk you through doing this step by step. So, you can input basic text like this, text like this in the form of a paragraph. And you can see in this drop down box here that it's set to paragraph by default. So the text is going to display as a paragraph as it would in something like Microsoft Word. It's worth just noting right now that anything you publish within the post editor is going to be displayed using the default styles of your WordPress theme or it will be displaying the styles that your developer has set up for your WordPress website. So that's how we can input basic text in the form of a paragraph. Now I'm going to show you how you can input subheadings to break up your blog posts and give them a bit of structure. This is a subheading. And we want to use this drop down menu here. Set it as a H, actually we won't set it as a H1, we'll set it as a H2. This is more text. You can see it's gone back to paragraph by default. What else can we show you? Um, this is how to use bold text. So you can also uh, use the same tools as you might within Microsoft Word, so you can make things bold. You can apply italics for effect. And we can also use what's called the toolbar to drop down and display more options, more formatting options that you can apply to your text. So this is colored text. That in red. Um, we can play with the alignment of the text. Oh. And we can also do things like create lists. like so. So we've got a bulleted list and an 
a numbered list. And the final thing I'll show you to cover the basics is the Add Media button. So if you want to use images or videos within your blog post, you can. Uh, I've just put a little icon in here for the purpose of this video just to show you how it works. So the icon's been inserted and if I click on it, I can play with its alignment. So I can line it into the center of the screen, and make it left, right. If you click the edit button, you can also determine how big it renders. So currently it's full size, or you can play with the width and the height. And you can also determine whether it links somewhere or whether it doesn't link somewhere if it's clicked on. So that's the editor, and this is how you would create a blog post. You can insert your content, style it, align it, and use media from the media library of your WordPress website. And if you did want to upload media, it's just a case of clicking select files and uploading the media from your web, from your computer, sorry. Okay, so that's the editor covered. Now I'm going to walk you through the preview button, which is going to be your best friend. So the preview button lets you preview the contents of the editor before you've actually published the blog post, which is really useful if you don't want to be um, publishing half-finished blog posts on your website for potential visitors to come across. So if I click preview, all of the contents of my editor are being displayed inside of this box. As I mentioned before, it's just outputting the default styles of the Beans framework. It, it comes with minimal styling. Your WordPress theme will apply the styles from that WordPress theme, so your blog is going to look probably a lot different to this. But as you can see, it's outputting the content of the blog post before it's actually been published. So, you know, as you're going and editing, you can play around and, and see how things look in real time. So if you click preview again, it's now going to reflect that latest change. So really useful, really handy tool. And I recommend you use the preview tool whenever you're making changes to your live WordPress website. Just to finish off, uh, I'll just touch on categories really briefly. So to categorize the blog post, we have the categories box here. And if you want to add a new category, all you need to do is click on the add new category link. Uh, let's just call this tutorials. And there we have it, we have the new category. And although that hasn't updated yet, it should also update the permalink when we publish the blog post. Uh, from uncategorized to tutorials. And there you have it, the basics of how to create a blog post on your WordPress website. So when we're actually finished with it, I'll just show you very quickly, we'll click published. And as I said, the permalink, so the URL, has updated from uncategorized to, to, to tutorials. And we've now got the live blog post, which is identical to the preview. So yeah, there we have it, creating a blog post. Hopefully you found the steps simple and easy to follow. If there's anything you'd like me to expand upon or any particular areas of creating a blog post, please feel free to leave me a comment on the video. And make sure to subscribe for, to, for future videos if you're looking for simple, straightforward tips on WordPress, Visual Composer, WooCommerce, and basic marketing tips for growing your WordPress and WooCommerce websites. If you need help with anything specific, feel free to email me at hello at squareinternet.co. And if it's something I can help you with, I'll get back in touch with you ASAP. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.